Hi, everyone. Welcome to Experiencing Intelligent Breakthroughs in Your Sports Performance and Life. I have a question. Are you better today than yesterday? Are you better today than yesterday? I am better today. That's an essential question. The reason I ask myself that question throughout the day is because yesterday's the past. Sure, we can learn from it, and we do, and we keep going forward. However, it's the past. The future is over here, and yes, I believe we can create a future or a better future. However, no one really has the skill to be able to know what greater will happen as you go about what you want to accomplish in the right way. It can become a lot greater. That's what happened to me. It's amazing how my life is today compared and what I do today compared to where I thought I would be as I was making and striving towards my accomplishments. Also, if you're comparing yourself as an athlete to another athlete, Stop it. What you need to do is compare yourself to yesterday. Are you better today than yesterday? That's the key. That's the process. And of course, you have the techniques, the tools, the learning, the mental performance skills, the mental performance tools. And then you have all the aspects of life feeding into that to make that possible. And that's what I help people and athletes with. And so you may be wondering, why do I have a referee's uniform on? Well, because I ref sports, whatever the sports may be, it doesn't really matter. And as a ref, I'm not really the authority. I look at myself as being educative. Because as people start to play and they get into the moment, sometimes they do things and they, it's happening so fast that they don't mean to or they don't realize they're doing it and they just need a, an educative perspective, a view on what I'm seeing and I help them so that they can play clean athletics. And of course, if their emotions, if their mental capacity is tired, if their physical capacity is tired, then they, they might react in a negative way on the field. And so I'm helping them to get out of that mode of state of being. And they appreciate that. They really do. They understand. Because if I don't be educative, then they don't really know why what they did was not the right way or appropriate. And they get frustrated thinking that the call was not right or, or one team's being favored over the other. And so they just need some education or someone to guide them. Now, another thing that we want to do is we have relationships, and that's what makes life beyond amazing. It really does when you have amazing relationships. So today we're going to talk about the amazing relationships, and then we're going to talk about the intrusive relationships, which need conflict resolution. So the amazing relationships occur in our lives through nurturing, developing, building, and growing meaningful and trusting relationships. This is with your coaches, with your teammates, with people who are peers of yours, who are on other teams. Maybe you played with them when you were in a, a different league, whoever they may be. And so when you're nurturing a relationship, you're just really learning about each other, introducing each other to one another. And then you develop over time and it might take a while, it might not, it just really depends. And then the only time you really get into the build stage is when you're actually just you and the other person doing something together. Just you two, not as a group, but you two. 
And then you only get to the growth stage and that's where you can really expand the relationship and together what can really happen that's just way beyond anything either one could imagine. And that's when you get into the growth phase. And so that's how you build those amazing relationships to make life beyond amazing. And I used to have a life beyond amazing. And then for years I didn't and now today I do. And if anyone told me that I would be doing what I am today, I would have said, no way, that's not possible. However, here I am and I am doing it. So it's, I'm very happy. Uh, I feel very fortunate and have prosperity within me. And uh, as long as I'm making strides and consistently making lives better, then I'm on the right track. And so I'm very, very excited about the future, about today and the future. Now, there are other types of relationships. One is a toxic relationship. You should never have a toxic relationship in your life as an athlete because it's going to drain your energy, your capacity to perform, not only with another athlete or with another coach, but also just in your life. And that's what bullying is. And we're seeing bullying happen in all sorts of spheres now. And that's what bullying actually does happen. It's an intrusive relationship that becomes toxic. And the reason is, is because for lots of different reasons, but one is, is that if someone's making negative comments about you or saying you're not going to accomplish something as you're trying to go about doing it, and they're talking behind or talking at your back, you know, making snide comments, et cetera. And you just let it go. And then the next time you see them, you see them and, you know, they might say, make another comment. You, you just sort of blow it off. Well, if you keep blowing it off, it will build up in you. And as it builds up in you, it's going to cause you harmful health problems. It will cause you anxiety and stress. And then that's how essentially the, intrusive relationship becomes a bullying relationship so what you need to do is just simply without like being angry mad or making a mean look just go up to the person look them in the eye and say you don't need to do that and if they say oh i want to just put your hand up like that and eventually they get the idea and they'll get out of that state of being and they'll go find someone else to do it because they know that they can't get anywhere further with you. And obviously you want to have less accessibility to that person as well. So that's one way. Another way is to go back to intrusive relationships is to tell yourself the real story from a new perspective. And so these intrusive relationships are a lot of times might be with a coach, it might be with a teammate, it might be with a friend, it might be with a family member. These are relationships that you want, that you, you know, need to be able to nurture, develop, build and grow in a meaningful and trusting way. So it's not so simple as to just walk away and make them inaccessible however these relationships i'm going to give you techniques and tools to help you with these relationships first of all tell yourself the real story with a new perspective secondly as you approach this person and you're starting to mend or not even mend but like make this relationship go in the right direction you want to slow down in your language and you want to use amazing thoughts and amazing words. Don't use colloquialisms and things like that, that people just blurt out automatically. Like if the kitchen's too hot, get out, things like that. Or if it's too hot, get out of the kitchen. Those are communication breakdowns. That's not how you build meaningful and trusting relationships. And so it's essential that you understand this because usually those intrusive relationships happen because of some communication or miscommunication. And so 
Use those amazing thoughts and words. Now, an intrusive relationship is a relationship that when you see each other, you just get that sense like, mm, I'm not really liking or enjoying this as much or it's not as fun. Or you don't see the person and they just have, you have a thought or an image in your mind of them. And that they're intrusive because it simply diminishes your capacity, your energy, your ability to accomplish what it is that you want to accomplish. And then additionally, you don't want to cuss because as you, if you start using cuss words, then the emotion heightens, the intensity heightens, and it just becomes more difficult to be able to steer the relationship into a building and, and growing meaningful, trusting relationship. The other thing is if you're having dialogue with yourself, not with the person, but with yourself in your mind, seeing images of this person or thoughts of this person, and they're intrusive and they're like taking away from your ability to do what it is that you want to do. Well, then that's wasting a lot of your energy and capacity and time. And of course, that takes away from your concentration, that takes away from your ability to have attention or be attentive. And it takes away from your mental toughness and it basically diverts your thinking. And so therefore that also creates stress and anxiety. And therefore that task or whatever goal you're wanting to accomplish, it becomes more difficult. It seems like it takes a lot longer. And the reason is, is because milliseconds or nanoseconds or a few seconds or minutes or several minutes or maybe even if you add it up over the day, hours are being diverted towards these intrusive images and thoughts. And so you want to stop that. And so realize by getting rid of those, you can go forward. Now, the best way to get rid of those is to have a support system. And a support system are people who are supportive and encouraging to you. They're motivating, inspiring to you. Uh, they may have set an example for you that you like to, li to, to live by, sort of like a role model. Uh, and it could be people you don't even know, but they might be famous. They might be another athlete, like your favorite athlete, and you've never met them. Or it could be something you read in the paper, or a phrase that sticks in your mind or whatever that you saw on TV or you saw someone speak and, and you just remember from there this one thing that they said, and maybe it was me during this thing that you remember, are you better today than yesterday? And so you might not have ever met me, but I'm part of your support system because that might help you at some time, at the right time, used at the right time, in the right situation. And so that's what I mean by a support system. That's the number one thing that everyone needs is a support system. Now we also have people in our lives. As athletes, we have our teammates, we have our coaches, we have our families, our friends, and sometimes we're brought into an intrusive relationship as a third party. You know, two of your teammates are arguing, they're fighting, or they're quarreling with one another, and it's just not as fun to be around, not as fulfilling, it's not as enjoyable. And the way that you can help both of them is just by saying amazing words, amazing words. And they'll stop and they'll correct themselves because they're just in a bad mood or they're in a negative place in their mindset. Now, if they look up at you like, huh, then you can say, use amazing words, use amazing words. And that will get them going forward again. And so these are just a couple of techniques that you can use, okay? Now, you might have a family that are quarreling or, you know, you got two younger brothers or two younger sisters who are fighting with each other or whatever it may be. And you can do the same thing with them. You, as they're doing whatever they're doing, say, use amazing thoughts and amazing words. You don't have to tell them what to say or what to do they'll correct themselves. And so that's really, really important. So that's the technique for you to use. 
because you get to really choose the thoughts and words in your mind. So you might as well make them amazing thoughts and words. And especially in your athletics, we know it's a process, right? And although I'm sure that you have gifts, talents, and skills, I know that. And that's what's unique. And that's what eventually in that growth phase is separates you from the pack. And if you go all the way to being a champion and whatever it is that you're wanting to do, that's really what makes you the champion. So you don't want to be comparing yourself to someone else. All you want to do is compare yourself to you yesterday. Are you better today than yesterday? Now, I work with athletes. I work with sports teams. And all of these ideas that I'm sharing with you, these techniques and these tools, are things that I teach them and to help form the culture of the team with, of course, the coaches and the athletes' input and what's important to them and what kind of team do they want to be and also it's essential just to get the communication right you know how are we communicating you know the other day i was listening to the announcers as they were announcing the cleveland cavaliers and the boston celtics game and of course boston's up two to nothing i mean it's a long series still seven games that's the seven and they were commenting on, well, you know, Cleveland, the players are like rolling their eyes at each other and shaking their head at one another. And all of that shows me that there's some communication problems, miscommunication. We need to be very positive, supportive of our teammates. So with each one of your teammates, as you get to know them and they get to know you, there are certain ways and phrases and things of that nature that will stick with them. And you know what those are. You play athlete athletics, but don't real underestimate the real importance of that because that's what's getting them to shift their mindset if they're starting to feel fatigued or tired, mental tiredness, or if they're losing physical energy or if they're losing emotional energy, whatever it may be. So it's really, really important. And, you know, to make life beyond amazing, it is those relationships because it's those relationships and seeing one another succeed and seeing our team succeed because, you know, it's really about the team going further than anything. And it doesn't really matter who gets the credit. And if it just happens to be you that's helping to keep the team flowing and being the best, and you're doing most of it, well, hey, that's fine. I mean, eventually it, it, the load will be distributed more and more, but that's part of your responsibility as an athlete is that each of you is a star. I really believe that. And that you shine brighter when you work at it the right way or work on it the right way. However, if you're being negative towards yourself or your teammates, you're diminishing your ability to do that. And additionally, what really is a star? A star athlete is someone who makes his teammates or her teammates shine brighter. It's wow. You know, when I was playing on that team, it was this athlete here that really took me or helped me get to the next level. And people and athletes are always looking for that. And we're always looking for coaches to do that. And that's what I mean by the nurturing, developing, building, and growing those meaningful and trusting relationships. Because those relationships last forever. Sure, you might not see them for years, or you might not even see them ever again, but they're a part of your support system. My very first job was in Washington, D.C. After about 20 years, maybe even more than that, 25 maybe, I went up there and I visited two of the people that I worked with closely. And it was the most amazing thing. One of them was still there. I also saw my supervisor. I saw my boss. And uh, I met some other person, another person um, who worked in the office who I didn't directly work with. But it was just amazing. 25 years later, and they were all a part of my support system. 
Now, my advanced performance tool that I use for athletes, and this again is to help them with their communication, with their teamwork, with idea generation, with what can be better, is my advanced performance tool where I get two chairs and you sit back to back. I can have multiple sets of two, or I can have four sets, four chairs all back to back and have multiple fours or a combination of fours and twos. And go through this process where I facilitate and I help to, to uh, make this more robust. Because a lot of times you need an outside perspective and someone with my expertise to be able to do something like that. And you can see it in my preview video. Eventually you can advance through the video and get to the advanced performance tool and you can see it, how I use it. And so if you have something like this in your athletic performance, your team, maybe you're a coach watching this or you're an athlete yourself or your whole team, uh, you're sharing this with your team, contact me if something here resonates with you. I am glad to talk with you about how I can help. This can be in your athletic performance. This can be in your life because we really cannot separate our performance and our life. There's just no way. It's really both. There's performance in life. That's always it. And so really understand to yourself and realize that every day it's about daily performance in life. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to play a sport every day. No. Now, mentally, if you've been one of my clients, you will uh, because it's not as physically taxing on you and we're working on bettering your mental performance and you'll find that you'll experience intelligent breakthroughs to help you consistently perform and advance you further along to have those intelligent breakthroughs because I mean it's those breakthroughs that we need to get to the next level of success in anywhere in life whether it's athletics whether it's in school or whether it's in work or whether it's in life so that's what I have for you today and Anything that you're doing, if you're thinking that it takes long, long time, you're diminishing your capacity, your energy, and your ability. So just realize this. Just think to yourself, it doesn't take long. It doesn't take long. And that way, it gives you a little more mojo. Also, do what you love. Do what you love. And a lot of times people aren't doing what they love anymore just because it's not that they're not doing what they love, but there's an environmental problem, an environmental issue, or a relationship issue. And again, if something here resonates with you, contact me to discuss how I can help you. I have a lot of tools, advanced performance tools, life tools, and those skills because I know that you have the gifts, talents, and skills. I know that you'll discover new gifts, talents, and skills. But eventually in life, we can only get so far by ourselves. And that's why we have our family, we have our friends, our coaches, our teammates, we have our peers, right? We have our sponsors, we have whomever. And that's also why you have people like me. We learn from other people. So it's a matter of having that right support system or the right support services also. And so that's what I have for you today. So I'm looking forward to talking with you to really see you have greater accomplishments and experience intelligent breakthroughs in your sports performance and in your life.